Hi everyone, welcome to Management Accounting. Today we want to look at the flex the budgets. We want to flex the budget, we do have the flexible budgets and the fixed budget. What is the fixed budget? What is the flexible budget? If you are talking about the flexible budget, this is the type of budget that do change with the activity level. But if it's fixed, it is not affected by the level of activity. Let me take you back right. So, what's a fixed cost? What's a variable cost? A fixed cost, we say this is the type of cost that do not vary or that do not change as the activity level changes, right? It does not change in total as the activity level changes, as the level of output changes. So, in other words, we are saying it's a type of cost that do not vary. In other words, we are saying a fixed cost is a fixed because it's fixed, right? So, let's look at this question. This is the flex flexible budget, right? So, what are you required to do? You are answering question. You are answering a question on management accounting on F two. So, how do you tackle this kind of question? So, what do they want you to do? They are saying what is the total cost in a budget that is flexed at fifty five percent level of activity? It can be multiple choice question in the exam where you will be given a box. You have to fill in. So, what will be the answer? What will be the solution? Right. So here we have had the material, the labor, the production overheads, and other overheads. What about the cost behavior? Some costs are variable. Some costs are fixed. Some are semi-variable. So the the variable cost is a type of cost that changes as the level of activity. What changes? Right. That's a variable. If you change the level of activity, it also changes. Look at this question. At the level of activity of 70%, for material, we are incurring 31,990. But if you want to produce at level of 90%, right, it simply means the cost is expected to what? To change. It increases, right? It is increasing as we if you increase the activity level, your cost will you increase. Let me give you an example. I might want to purchase this whiteboard marker, right? I'll pay, let's say, five minutes, say, let's say I'll pay five dollars. What about if I want to buy two? What about if I want to buy three? The cost what will change, will increase, right? So that's a variable cost. So yes, it is constant per unit. One whiteboard marker is five dollars per unit. It's, it's constant, it's the same. But if I increase the number of units, the cost starts to, start to change, right? So, so per unit is constant, okay? Let me just prove it. 31,990 divided by seven. If I divide, I'm getting 457, right? So this cost, we are incurring it if we produce level what? If we produce 70 percent right, so over 70, I'm getting this. What about 41, 130? 41, 130 divided by 90. What do you get? Before I get the solution, if I do the number crunching, that's pretty okay. That I'll get five, four, five, seven. Because the variable cost per unit is constant. One whiteboard marker, five dollars per unit is constant, but in total it increases. So the same applies, you can even verify uh, for labor. This is a variable cost per unit is constant again. Right. So I want to flex the budget, right? So we have all agreed that per unit is constant. They want us to calculate the total cost in a flex in, in a budget that is flexed. So I'm preparing the flexed budget um, at 55% level of activity. One column to be far right. Let me start with the direct material. So we have all agreed that we are incurring 457 per unit, right? So this is 457. You divide with the level of activity, you choose. If you want to, to use 70 percent use this cost. If you want to use 90, use this cost. So 
you still get the same answer 457. Right? So 457 per what? So most of the questions will be units. So usually we say per unit. But according to this question, uh, is it per unit? What do you say then? Per percent. So it's per percentage, right? Or we say it's per unit. As long as you understand the concept. Then you multiply. So this is this cost was per what? Was for 70%. So, you divide, you get per percent. What are we doing? We want to calculate the cost at what? So we multiply by what? 55. Easy. So by 55, I'll get 25, It's same for the labor. The labor, 58, 100 over 70. I'm getting 830. As per percentage. Let me just verify what if I decide to use the cost that I'll incur for 90%. Let me just check. 74, 700 over 90. That's 830, right? You still get 830. Because it's a variable cost. As long as it's per unit, it is what? It is constant. So we are flexing the budget uh, to 55%. So multiply by 55. I'm flexing the budget. I'll get 45. If you do the number crunching exercise on the adding machines, you get 45, 650. That's how you deal with the variable cost. So the variable cost, this is the type of cost that it changes as the activity level changes. This is the cost that you can uh, over the activity level 70. What about 92 increase? What about 55%? Obviously, we expect the type of cost to decrease. You get it. So it cannot exceed this cost because this is now at 55 percent is a variable cost the cost that i care if i buy three whiteboard markers is different from the one i buy i'll buy two whiteboard markers it will decrease so now i move on to the production overheads to the production overheads but the production overheads is not that easy because it's a semi-variable cost what about if i say uh i'll do i'll do a waiting for this one let me just say waiting one Let's just leave the production overheads. Let's move on to the other overheads. Other overheads, they are saying the cost of behavior is fixed. So if they say the cost of behavior is fixed, it simply means even if you flex the budget, the cost will remain the same because the fixed cost is not affected with the level of activity. You get it. Imagine if you rent a room, you rent a factory, for example, you pay rentals. So the amount that you pay, uh, it has nothing to do with the number of units that you produce. Even if you produce 10,000 units, even you say, this month I don't want to produce anything. You pay, the amount that you pay is fixed, it's constant, right? It's, it does not change. So because the fixed cost is fixed, because it's fixed. So according to the budget, we are expecting that who incur 60,000. That's why you see that um, for 70%, um, we are expecting that to incur what 60,000. Even at 90%, the cost will still be 60. Because the fixed cost is the type of cost that is not affected by the level of activity that you produce. It's not affected by the number of units that you produce. Whether you produce or you don't produce, you incur a fixed amount. You get it. So even if you say what will be the cost at 55%, the type of fixed cost is it, it, it is not affected with the TV level. So it's still at 60,000. Fixed costs are fixed because they are fixed. They do not vary, they do not change in total as the TV level changes. All right, then what about the production of now? On the production over, this is the semi-variable cost. 
So the semi variable cost um, is a combination of two costs. Uh, it's a combination of fixed and the variable. So for you to say to get the total cost, you say total cost is cost to fixed cost plus the variable cost. So the semi variable cost, the production of it, it's a semi variable cost. Meaning we have the fixed cost and we have the variable cost. Right. So this one requires the working. Allow me to do working one. Allow me to do the working one. Allow me to do the working one. Working one. Now the question is semi variable. We have the fixed, we have the variable. So how are we going to flex the budget? So for you to flex the budget now, you need to split the cost up. So you need to know uh, the fixed element and the variable. So then you flex the budget. So we need to separate because the fixed cost doesn't change. So I have to calculate the fixed cost first. So if you look at this, this is 75,600. This is 79,200. This is the total cost. So this total cost of 75,600, there is a fixed element there, there is a variable element. So how do I split? So, but we do have different costs. I'm incurring this cost if we produce what percent? 70. Then I will incur 79,200 if I, incur, if I produce what percent? 90%. So what is the fixed element? Then high low method comes in. So step one. So in other words, you are applying high low method, primary school learning. So step one, you calculate the VC per unit. VC per unit. So I'm not going to write that formula. Let, let us just forget all those entities. Let's just deduct these amounts. The highest cost minus the lowest cost. 79,200 less 75,600. What about this is for 90? Like with like. Huh? This 79,200 is for the tip level of 90%. Then this 75,600 is for the active level of 70. So if I do the number crunching, if I get to my AD machine, 79,200 less 75,600, I'm getting 3.6 over. If I did that, I'm getting 20. So 3.6 over 20, you get 180. This is 180. This is per what? They just say per percent. Right, step two, you then calculate what? The total, the total FC, FC representing the fixed cost. Right. Then you choose, if you want to use this cost, you then use this activity level. If you want to use this cost, use the activity level. It gives you the same answer. So let me just say, let me just write the formula first. TC is cost to FC plus VC. Total cost, let me use this 79,200. You are now substituting. Then you want to cover the fixed cost FC plus. Now, this is 79,200. So what about the variable cost? Obviously, this is what? 180. I got it from step one. Multiply by by my activity level. Since I have selected 79,200, it simply means I'm going to also use what 90 as my activity level because the variable cost is the type of cost that do vary with the activity level. So this is the one. This was 180 psp percent multiplied by the 90. So step by step. Baby steps, you get there. It's cost to 50 plus 180 multiplied by 90. Easy stuff. 16,200. Easy piece, lemon squeezy. So 79,200 less 16,200 plus my FC. So these two be married together, right? 
less this, you get 63,000. That's the FC. So the fixed part is 63,000. So that's the fixed cost. So that's the idle method. Right. Now, I want a total of what? The production of hydrides. So total costs of for for fifty five percent rise. So this is what we want. The total cost for fifty five percent. So because here we are flexing the budget at fifty five percent, but it wasn't easy on the production because it was a semi variable. So I wanted to calculate the fixed element. So we have seen that the fixed costs uh, that are captured within the, this cost is a total of 63,000. So now I want a total cost now of 55. How do you get the total cost? We have explained this before. Fixed plus what? Plus variable. Remember, the fixed cost doesn't change, doesn't vary with the level of activity. It remains the same whether you want to produce at 70 or at 90 or at 55 percent the fixed cost doesn't change because it doesn't change right so the fixed cost is what 63,000 yes this is now at 55 but doesn't matter the fixed cost doesn't change the active level so it's 63,000 plus the variable it changes now so we have calculated from step one that we will incur one eight dollars if we produce like a predictive level which is the percent multiply by you then ask yourself a question the total cost that you are calculating is what percent 55 you multiply by 55 so this is 63,000 plus 180 by 55, that's 9.9. .9. So 9.9 .9 plus 63, that's 72,900. That's the total, that's the total, that's the total. So this will be 72,900. Then you add. Then you do the number crunching. I hope I have calculated. Just sum up now. I'm getting two or three, six, eight, five. So if you have a session B question on management, on management accounting, you just fill in, or if it's a box, you just write your answer with confidence. Two or three, six, eight, five. That's what you should do as an accountant because. Behind every successful business, there is a smart accountant. That's it, people. Thank you very much for your time.